it's Tuesday afternoon, 10 to 1. Well, it's the 6th of November, yeah. I left Broome this morning, heading down to towards Perth to see my friend Greg. My friend Greg is actually about 700 kilometres behind me in his road train, but he will more than likely catch me up because he does more kilometres per day than I will. Today I've done, so far, 530. No, 540, because I took my switch 10 k's late. Anyway, I've just hit 43 degrees, which is hot, is what that is. My temperature on my striker is saying 43. Again, if it's a couple of degrees out, that's still 40 degrees or 41. It's certainly the hottest temperature I've seen uh, show up on there. So, yeah, 43 is what it said on there, but I think you have to take away two degrees. No, that's still 41. That's a warm. I don't really don't know how many k's I'm going to do today, but let's say it's only one o'clock, so I do want to just crack on and keep going probably till about five. So yeah, it's just I'm just powering, powering going back to Perth. Nothing more to it. Meet up with Greg and then shoot down to, to see Chris and the family and then get my stuff. I just a little update. Just long straight roads back to Perth. Sandfly Roadhouse has got loads of like random stuff lying around. Um, there's an old fridge, the looks of it. I don't know what this is, but that's blown up. And this would have gone with a hell of a bang. Insane. Massive. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool, and then it's all covered in signs. I was just in Newman, having a Mars bar, chilling out in the shade. It's about 10 o'clock. I texted Greg and I said, oh, where are you? you know, I'm just at Newman. And he said, oh, I'm 10 k's north. And I texted back saying, I'll come find you. And then he said, I've just passed you. He's stopping just up ahead. So it's so weird how I keep meeting my friends literally in the middle of nowhere on the road. I mean, I kind of knew, I say, it's not the same with Dave. I knew we were going to potentially cross paths. But because he's a truck driver, he drives a lot more kilometers than I do. So maybe this is him, this truck up in front. We're going to roll in to this stop and see which one of these is Greg. I have a feeling it's that front one. We're going to roll in and see which everyone waves at me. Are we there? Nope, not that one. I wonder if this is him, because I can't find him. I might have to move. Yeah, I'll move out of the way. GPK, ah. yeah, there he is. Woo, there's Greg. Stopped it, I'll do. I'll go back. Ooh. Right, mate? You meet some weird people on the road, eh? Hey. I said, you meet some weird people on the road, eh? You do, there you go, alright. <laughs> well, there goes Greg, soon to be overtaken. Um, he, uh, He's done five hours already today. Um, and then he's going to do... A pothole, yes. He's going to do another five hours. Um, uh, have a half an hour break, and then another five hours. 
So that's stupid, hey. I'm not. I'm going to do 400 kilometers and stop, which means although I've just overtaken him, he's going to overtake me later. Then I'll see him when I actually get to his house. So uh, yeah, it's amazing. 15 hours a day. I didn't realize it was in like 15 hours a day. When he said to me that he was going to do five hours, have a half, have a half hour break and then do another five hours, I was just like, crikey. Anyway, enough waffle. Goodbye. Catch you later. Good morning, everybody. I've lost the road. So, I know where the, the main highway is, but I don't know where the track around here is because the blue road on this sat nav, I don't know if you can see it, uh, it doesn't seem to be there. It seems to disappear in a different direction. So, I thought... I would just ride as the crow flies <laughs> and just keep going towards the uh, towards the road and it's this way through these trees <laughs> it's nice easy solid like ground a bit rocky but nothing you know it's my only issue really is going to be if I meet uh, a a farmer or b a uh, a fence <laughs> but so far so good I've actually got something like 10 k's of this to do, so, but I don't think I'll meet him, because the, ooh, where are we going to go? So <laughs> here. That bit. It's good fun though. Actually, don't know where I'm going. Just want to, just keep in the, the uh, main road in front of me, if you like, get on to uh, let's go around these. Ooh. Makes for an interesting morning, though. We're getting there. To here. So, these branches are quite stiff. Um, anyway, so. Ooh. I'm trying to concentrate and talk, and it's quite difficult. Because I don't actually know what I'm, well, I have no idea where I'm going, evidently. <laughs> I'm just going, oh, where can I go through? What can I get fit to? Yeah. I'm just quite enjoying this morning because I like off road riding and, oh, and uh, this is off piece, definitely. Also like the way that I'm not really following a road, I'm just sort of keep pointing at the orange line that's running that way across my tent lamp, which is the state high main highway. I don't strictly know how it is. <laughs> that was me not making a decision between which side of the tree to go. <laughs> I don't know. Go this way, go through here. That looks like a rather steep. Where are we going to go? This way! And. Ooh, here's that. Oh, it's a giant spider's web. That's horrendous. It's not on me, is it? Get rid of that shite. And walk here. Walk here. Getting close to the road. Just opened up a bit. It's just got a bit rock here. Very rocky indeed. Okay, let's just concentrate. Ooh. This is super rocky now. Nope, bastard. Oh, okay. Oh, 
okay. That was just me losing my balance. My bloody cables come undone. Um, alright, well, up we go. I don't know whether this was such a good idea. <laughs> it's fun though. Go on, two noises. My center's running out of battery, so I'm trying to charge it at the same time. Okay. Neutral would be a great idea. Well, it's going to be a slick. Try not to uh, get my foot caught underneath the, the wheel, obviously. I might just clear a path. Bloody cable. Ugh. Right, cleared little path. Hopefully I can follow. There we go. Oh, shut up. My legs are too short for this shite. Oh. And I've stalled it again. Right, one, two, three, up on the pegs, let's go. This way. And then this way. Road. Ooh. Concentrate. Right, I vote we actually follow this track. It'll be a bit smoother than going straight across. This way. This is actually running parallel with the road that I want to go. Everything's all good. Yeah, parallel with the road that I want to go and is going to add in the right direction and it looks like it's going to join up with it relatively well so cool <laughs> down here up here and down here oh bumps 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 and a bit of soft sand yay just what we like Oh, oh yes, Ugh. nothing worse than seizing a helmet. I can do it again. <laughs> Ugh. iPhone, you, uh, iPhone headphone used to dead. Shortcut. We're actually getting close now. Where's the bloody road? It's just there. Is it there? Oh, this is... This is interesting. Yes, let's, uh... Whoop. Shit. <laughs> I got out of the rut and I ended up riding directly through it. Oh, dick. There it is. Not the highway, but it's a road. And the highway's at the end of this road. That 
was fun. Highway cruising. Hope you enjoyed that little uh, bit of whatever it was. Just straight line up. It was a shame that it got a bit rocky and I just didn't want to keep dropping my bike because it's going to be my bike over and over again. That something breaks and I can't afford for that to happen. Bye. Bye. It seems I have a small leak in my rear tyre. Um, I don't actually think it's in the tyre. I think it's just here. In this rim bit here. I've cleaned it so I know where to find it. But you can see that's not straight anymore. Um, so I'm going to try and hit it with a hammer later. But I think it's leaking. So I filled the tyre up this morning. 36 psi around it's been half six, seven. Um, and it's now down to 24. And it's about half past 10, quarter past 10 now. So um, it's slow. I'm going to, um, 10 o'clock now, I'll pump it to 40 psi. I'm going to ride for a few more hours or I want to try and find some signal today so I can sort out these emails. Um, so I'm going to continue on but I'll, every time I stop for fuel or anything like that I'm just going to find some shade and double check the tyre pressure, pump it up if I need to. So hopefully it lasts. <laughs> I've just seen three relatively large wedge-tailed eagles. So hopefully they're going to, they're just up here on a bit of roadkill. I thought I'd see if I can kind of sneak up on them and show you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to probably just stop here on this roadkill, just park up and, and see if they come back. Because they were bloody huge, like the proper big ones, which I kind of really wanted to, to see. There is one right there, just flying that way. They're like a two meter wingspan and whatnot. So I'm just going to sit here quietly. Hopefully they'll come back. I've been sat here for a little while now and I don't think they're just the car and a truck's just driven past and disturbed the crows that were there. Okay, we're in luck. This is so lucky. What are we? Yeah, like 15, 10 minutes later. This one sat. No, oh, you bastard. Don't fly off. Oh, he just flown off. Where's he going? Okay, I'm gonna see what we can do. He was just sat here, he's now just sat over there at that rock. I'm gonna very slowly and try and gingerly go towards him. No, not a chance. But he's there, look. I'm just gonna see if I can beat him. Come here, you bastard. Ah, he was sat on the side of the road and I got such a good view of him. Right now he's on the other side of the fence. He knows. He knows the fences. It's one. Cruising. Yeah, it's about as close as I'm going to get to it. Yeah, it's going away from me now. Oh man, they're everywhere. Literally, this is why I pulled over to put the camera on to go back to the last one. <laughs> I think I'm just going to ride with the camera on. And just cut out the nonsense until I see one. Right. Attempt number three. We have two big wedge-tailed eagles up in the tree, just there. So I'm going to very gingerly... Oh no, stop, 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 stop. Look at the size of that bastard. Let's just park the bike. Get off. Oh, they both fell away. Oh. Bugger.
Well, last night was my last night camping. I came to this spot on the coast for a bit of signal, booked my flights and uh, sent some emails about shipping and the what's on the bike and all that stuff. So I'm off to Greg's place today. I'm going to chill out there and then it's literally going to go down to Chris's to pick up the rest of my stuff, finalise a date to drop the bike off and then get my flight. So uh, yeah, it's a really nice spot. The sea's right there. So it was really nice to sit and watch that last night. And it was a lot cooler as well. I actually had the cover on my lining. I had to use my sleeping bag for the first time in a while, not just the cotton liner. I even put a jumper on yesterday. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's nice and cool. It's a lot cooler than it was up north. So yeah, also I'm going to show you this. This is a bug that I caught yesterday. And I found another one, but this one, they're huge. They're like this, like big grasshoppers. I'll, I'll show you one, hang on. Can you see him in there? He's massive. He's like the baddie out of a bug's life. Um, his legs. I wonder if I can push him out. Ugh. Disgusting little bastard. Oh, bug's leg. Right, this is... Ooh, ooh, I don't like touching him even though he's dead. <laughs> Come on, out. Ooh. 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 The size of him. These make quite the splatter. There you go. That's one of the splatters. And I could feel them hitting my leg yesterday. And I thought something fell off the bike that hit you that, that hit me that hard. Anyway, let's get on the bike, get away from these flies because they're horrendous. Look at them all. Well, they all fly off as soon as I turn the camera around, of course they do. But yeah, let's go. Here plugs in. Bye. So I'm at Greg's and how about this for a man shed? It is the best shed. <laughs> I've seen ever. It's awesome. There's just so much stuff. I'll spin the camera around and show you. Look at it. Just tools and sort of roadwork memorabilia and posters. Um, like several welders and all sorts of stuff. Little gym. Car. I don't know what car that is. Not very good with cars, but it's kind of cool. Uh, the shit, loads of planes hanging up and posters. Um, Three Harleys and a XR, another car, another car, and planes, and signs that, um, that he's found in the bush, because when they take them down, apparently they just throw them away in the bush. So he's found them, picked them up. Petrol tanks, a bar, because you need a bar, a music bit that's got everything, and a bull bar from a truck that's been made into a bar as well. And of course, your World War II air raid siren. Best man shed ever. And this mess that's here. <sighs> Beautiful. Well, I've had a really good day at Greg's. Just chilling out with him, really. The music, watching some of my videos my, that I've recorded. Went to the local sort of sports club where I used to drink in 2014 and chilled out there for a bit. And tomorrow I'm going to go and to see him fly this old 1944 plane, which is pretty good. But now I'm going to enjoy this lovely double bed. It's so comfortable. So, yeah, good night. So here I am at the little airport um, where Greg's fly learning to fly the little tail dragger, 1944 plane. Really, really cool plane actually. And the flies, you can see them are doing my head in. Um, they're everywhere. I should have brought my net. So yeah, he's just doing loops now, like coming into land and taking off, so I'm just videoing him. Pretty cool. 
just chilling out watching planes like take off and land. But I just like light, like really light aircraft. It's quite cool to, to watch them. Kind of like as they take off, they're kind of wobbling like that because they're so small. Anyway, let's uh, video him landing.